This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue unlearning the world with Book 2. In Chapter 1, this is Section 7. Exposing and Releasing Faulty Assumptions Hi, David. I have been a student of ACIM for almost two years, but I have been curious about one thing. Do you watch the news or read newspapers or stay in touch with the world of illusion on a daily basis? The deeper I get, the further I get from even wanting to know others' opinions about this life. I have never enjoyed reading the paper, but I am finding that I feel distant from my family and friends and my partner because I cannot speak of what is going on in the real world anymore. It does not interest me. As a matter of fact, when Katrina hit New Orleans, I was not emotionally attached to the drama at all. Although I have two young girls and do become concerned for their safety on a daily basis, this was not of concern to me. However, I did volunteer immediately for the shelters during the first few weeks the evacuees came to this area. Does that seem hypocritical? And should I be more aware of what is going on? For example, political interest and local drama. Just to be aware of forgiveness lessons? Beloved one, thanks for writing. What you are speaking about is very common for sincere ACIM students. And it is natural to seem to lose interest in news and newspapers as you progress with the goal of ACIM. Forgiveness. The seeming emotional concerns and or personal dramas with your daughters and those in your immediate proximity are offering you many opportunities to forgive. It is helpful to be reminded that the degree and direction of error does not matter, so misperception cannot be placed on a scale or a continuum. There is no degree or comparison to fear, for all fear is approximately and helpfully interpreted as a call for love. Be grateful and glad that you are allowing the unconscious fear into awareness for healing. You are definitely on the right track, and even though you may feel distant at times from your family and friends and partner, this is just fear coming up to the surface for release. I am sometimes guided to watch the TV briefly or glance at a newspaper when I am travelling. And at times these bits and pieces of world events are used by the Holy Spirit in the context of teaching examples during gatherings. I actually do not read much of anything anymore with the exceptions of mail and email. If you find that you still have an aversion to words about political interest and local drama or news and newspapers, it may be helpful to watch and read them occasionally as guided or to rent some movies that deal with these topics and issues and use the movie watching as a mind-watching experience. For years I have used movie watching and many years ago TV watching as well as a mind training exercise. Allow the feelings to surface without censoring them 
and then recognize that the feelings are coming from the desires and beliefs and thoughts held in consciousness. This kind of mind exercise can help you to question what is believed and also help in exposing and releasing faulty assumptions. With willingness, the mind becomes open to the Holy Spirit's reinterpretation of perception, which is the goal of all mind training. The first of the 50 miracle principles at the beginning of the text says that there is no order of difficulty in miracles and this comes from a deeper understanding that there is no hierarchy of illusions. It is helpful to use the ACIM workbook in daily practice and apply the lessons without exceptions. This mind training leads to a truly loving and detached observation of perception that is the Holy Spirit's real world instead of the sleeping mind's version of the real world.